Harvard researchers wanted to see if increases in emergency department visits for respiratory illnesses among older adults happen in the days surrounding thunderstorms because vulnerable groups and those with common chronic respiratory diseases may be able to take measures to prevent worsening. Here's what they found. A study published in JAMA Internal Medicine found thunderstorms are linked with an average of 3,700 emergency department visits annually in the U.S. among seniors with respiratory illnesses, including asthma and COPD. The researchers collected lightning and atmospheric data throughout the U.S. from 1999 through 2012 in over 3,000 counties. They then compared it to increases in emergency department visits due to respiratory conditions in older patient populations in the days before and after thunderstorms. They found an uptick of ER visits among seniors with asthma or COPD on the day before thunderstorms. While they couldn't say exactly why this association existed, they had a number of theories. It could be due to changes in temperature and fine particles in the atmosphere. It could also be related to an increase in the pollen and other allergens released during the buildup to stormy weather. The take-home message from this study is that older people are more susceptible to respiratory illnesses from weather changes, and they should pay attention to the weather to plan accordingly, reducing outdoor exposure and carrying their control and rescue medication with them. The authors actually went further to suggest that as storm activity increases with rising global temperatures, it might contribute to a strain on the healthcare system.